So hopefully what you'll have gathered from that video is that overflow happens when the result of a calculation on two binary numbers requires more bits, which are these sort of ones and zeros, and you know you might have like an 8-bit number, so it means that it needs 9 or 10. Um, so it's when it needs more bits than there are in the available range. So overflow occurs when the result of a calculation requires more bits than there are available. So if we have a look at an example, what you might be asked in an exam is to demonstrate overflow by adding two binary numbers together. Now you can pick any two binary numbers that are going to result in overflow. Um, so in this example we've got a two four-bit binary numbers that we're going to add together. And I know, and you should know, that this is going to result in a 5-bit binary number. Um, as long as you pick two numbers that will result in overflow, then you'll still get the marks. So you can see here that this is a really easy number to add together. The reason I'm picking this is because this is worth marks doing this part correctly. So if we do this calculation, you'll see that it's nice and easy and you'll get the marks. However, before we do, there's two new terms that you need to be familiar with. You've got most significant bit, which is the left and most furthest bit okay so you can see this example here the ones are our most significant bit they're the furthest to the left and then you've got least significant bit which are the ones furthest to the right okay and you just need to learn those two phrases for when you do your definitions so if we add these two numbers together the first three are dead easy zero and zero zero etc etc we get to the next one one and one now you know that that's zero carrying a one over to here and that then results in our overflow because we've now gone into five bits when we started off with four. So this is an example um, of an exam question and how you get the marks. To start with, you get two marks for picking a correct binary numbers, uh, picking two binary numbers, sorry, that will add together to result in overflow, and then correctly adding them together. So this is a quite a complex example, but actually, if we go back to our previous one with all the zeros with just two ones down this side, it makes it a lot easier and you're more likely to pick up all your marks. You then just need to write a couple of sentences to say a carry has occurred on the most significant bit because our most significant bit was over here and we've now carried it. So the CPU detects this and sets the overflow flag to true. So you could write a sentence that says a carry has occurred on the most significant bit so the CPU sets the overflow flag to true. And then that would get you all four marks. So at this point I want you to have a go at doing task one from lesson five and then there'll be more videos for you to watch afterwards.